Today we're going to be talking about three of the more common symptoms that make me suspect a histamine intolerance and two additional symptoms that make me think it's a more severe presentation. So let's jump straight to it. Three common symptoms. If you're experiencing these symptoms, we're going to talk about a few other ones that can kind of make up part of the picture then I would be questioning whether histamine is contributing to your symptoms and is part of your condition. The first one, the most common one, would be nasal congestion. Sometimes post-nasal drip, sometimes sneezing, maybe kind of itchy, you know, on the kind of nose and, you know, in the sinuses. Um, but really that congestion, that difficulty breathing through your nose, that is a pretty typical symptom of histamine overload. One hot tip, big pearl, something that took me a while to learn was very, very common presentation where someone will present and they can breathe through one nostril really well and the other one is totally blocked. And then after a certain period, could be a day, two, could be hours, they swap and one side is clear and free, the other side's blocked. Not all the time, but commonly that is swollen turbinates and histamine can cause your tissues to swell and block those sinuses. Symptom number one, sinus congestion. Symptom number two, headaches, particularly above your eyes, but headaches in general. More extreme symptom here is migraines. That's not always histamine mediated, but if there's a, a constellation of symptoms that you know indicate histamine and there's migraines or headaches above the eyes, sore lymph nodes under the ears down here. The third symptom, super common, skin involvement, whether it's dermatitis, hives, rashes, flushing, particularly after exercise or certain trigger foods. We've talked about some herbs that help to treat, stabilize those mast cells, get a little bit ahead of that histamine intolerance. There's gonna be some future videos where I discuss some root causes. The two symptoms that make me think it's a more severe presentation, number one would be vertigo or dizziness, and then number two, tinnitus, ear ringing. Again, much like migraines, tinnitus, ear ringing, there can be a whole number of factors that contribute to that. The histamine overload is one of them that I see frequently in the clinic. Like the video, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in another video.